A month of meat? Would you dare imagine a diet where the only thing on your plate is meat? No fruits, no vegetables, no grains, just meat. Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what I decided to do for 30 days. Could you imagine giving up everything you thought you knew about healthy eating? All those colorful fruits and vegetables, the whole grains, the legumes, all gone. Instead, your diet revolves around steaks, chicken, fish, and bacon. It's a radical shift from the norm, and it challenges everything we've been taught about balanced nutrition. What if you traded in your fruits, veggies, and grains for a plate piled high with meat? It's a concept that seems almost unthinkable in today's health-conscious world, but that's the essence of the carnivore diet. It's about embracing the primal, the basic, and the protein-packed. That's right, nothing but meat. No side dishes, no desserts, just meat. It's a diet that's as simple as it is extreme. And it's not just about eating meat, it's about eating a variety of meats, from beef to pork to poultry and fish. Each meal is a celebration of carnivorous delight. That's the carnivore diet in a nutshell. And I'm here to tell you about my wild 30-day ride. It was a journey filled with ups and downs, moments of doubt, and surprising revelations. I embarked on this adventure with an open mind and a hearty appetite, ready to explore the uncharted territory of an all-meat diet. For a whole month I said goodbye to the salad bar and hello to all things meaty. No more leafy greens, no more colorful salads. Just the sizzling sound of meat on the grill and the savory aroma filling the air. It was a drastic change but one that I embraced with enthusiasm. Steak, chicken, fish, bacon, you name it I devoured it. Was it tough? Absolutely. There were moments when I questioned my sanity. Moments when I craved the crunch of a fresh apple or the comfort of a warm bowl of pasta but I pushed through determined to see this experiment to the end. Were there moments I craved a juicy apple or a steaming bowl of pasta? You bet. The cravings were real, and they were intense, but with each passing day, I found new ways to satisfy my hunger and keep my focus on the goal. It was a test of willpower and determination, but I also experienced some surprising changes along the way. My energy levels fluctuated, my mood shifted, and my body responded in ways I never expected. There were days when I felt invincible and days when I felt utterly exhausted. It was a roller coaster of physical and emotional experiences. Stick around as I break down my carnivore experiment week by week, sharing the good, the bad, and the downright bizarre. From the initial excitement to the mid-month slump to the final days of triumph, I'll take you through every step of the journey. You'll hear about the challenges I faced, the lessons I learned, and the unexpected benefits I discovered. So, would you dare to try the carnivore diet? Let's find out together. The carnivore diet. What's the beef? It's a question that has intrigued many and sparked countless debates. Is it a revolutionary approach to health or just another fad diet? Before we dive into my meat-filled month, let's break down what the carnivore diet really is. This diet has been gaining traction, but what does it actually entail? In the simplest terms, it's exactly what it sounds like. You eat only animal products. This means your meals are centered around meat, and not just any meat, but a variety of animal products. This means meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and some dairy. The idea is to consume nutrient-dense foods that are rich in protein and fats which are essential for our bodies. That's it. No fruits, no veggies, no carbs to speak of. It's a stark contrast to the balanced diet we've been taught to follow, which includes a variety of food groups. The idea is that our ancestors thrived on this way of eating. And by ditching modern processed foods and plant toxins, we can unlock optimal health. Weight loss, increased energy, reduced inflammation, and mental clarity are just a few of the benefits claimed by carnivore enthusiasts. Advocates argue that our bodies are designed to thrive on animal products just as our ancestors did, and mental clarity are just a few of the benefits claimed by carnivore enthusiasts. Sounds pretty extreme, right? But the results some people report are hard to ignore. They talk about shedding pounds effortlessly, feeling more energetic, and experiencing a level of mental sharpness they never thought possible. Well, that's what I thought too. I was skeptical to say the least. The idea of cutting out entire food groups seemed radical and potentially unhealthy. But I'm a big believer in testing things out for myself. I wanted to see if the claims held any water. Could eating only meat really transform my health and well-being? So I took the plunge and dove headfirst into the world of all meat everything. I stocked my fridge with steaks, chicken, fish, and eggs. I was ready to embark on this carnivorous journey and document every step of the way. Over the next month I would be eating nothing but animal products and I was both excited and apprehensive about what lay ahead. Would I experience the touted benefits or would I find myself craving the variety of a more traditional diet, 
Only time would tell, and I was eager to find out. Week 1, saying goodbye to veggies, and sanity? The first week was definitely the hardest. My body was in full-on carb withdrawal. Headaches pounded, my energy levels flatlined, and I swear I could smell phantom bowls of pasta everywhere I went. But I pushed through, fueled by steak and sheer willpower. One thing that surprised me was the lack of hunger. Without all the processed carbs and sugar, my appetite seemed to regulate itself. I also noticed a change in my digestion. Let's just say that without fiber, things moved a little differently. By the end of week one, I was feeling the challenges, but I was also starting to feel strangely good. Could this crazy diet actually be working? Week two, keto clarity or meat fog. This week marked a significant turning point in my journey. The initial hurdles were behind me, and I was stepping into a new phase of this dietary experiment. Week two is where things got interesting. The first week was all about adjustment, but now, I was beginning to see the real effects of the carnivore diet. I kept a detailed journal to track my progress, noting every change, no matter how small. The initial carb flu had subsided, and I started to experience what carnivore advocates call keto clarity. This clarity was unlike anything I had felt before. It was as if a fog had lifted from my mind and I could think more clearly and focus better on tasks. My mind felt sharper, my focus was laser-like and I was sleeping like a baby. I found myself diving into work with a newfound intensity, reading books with greater comprehension, and waking up feeling truly rested for the first time in years. However, I also had moments of what I can only describe as meat fog. These were times when my brain seemed to slow down, and I struggled to keep up with my thoughts. It was a strange contrast to the clarity I'd been experiencing. It was like my brain was working overtime trying to process all the protein. I wondered if my body was still adapting to the new fuel source, and if this was just a temporary phase. I felt a little spacey at times, and my short-term memory seemed to take a hit. I would find myself forgetting where I placed my keys or what I was about to do next. It was a bit disconcerting, but I hoped it would pass. Still, the good outweighed the bad. Despite the occasional fog, my overall energy levels were through the roof. I felt more alive and vibrant than I had in a long time. I started incorporating light exercises into my routine, and even those felt easier and more enjoyable. My energy levels were consistently high, and I felt lighter and less bloated than I had in years. This newfound lightness wasn't just physical, it was mental and emotional as well. I felt a sense of freedom and ease that was truly refreshing. The scale was also starting to move in the right direction, which was a nice bonus. Seeing the numbers drop was encouraging, but more importantly, I felt healthier and more in tune with my body. This journey was proving to be more transformative than I'd ever imagined. Week 3, Energy Spikes and Bacon Dreams By week 3, I was starting to feel like a true carnivore. My energy levels were through the roof. I was waking up before my alarm, powering through workouts and feeling fantastic. My taste buds had also completely adapted. I found myself craving steak and bacon like never before. In fact, I started having vivid dreams about bacon. It was both delicious and slightly disturbing. One unexpected side effect was the impact on my social life. Let's just say that eating out with friends became a bit of a challenge. I became that person who orders a plain steak with a side of another plain steak. Week 4, the final meeting. The final week of my carnivore experiment flew by. I was a well-oiled, meat-fueled machine. My energy levels remained high, my digestion was regular, in a carnivore kind of way, and I felt mentally sharp. I had also lost a significant amount of weight without even trying, it seemed like the pounds were just melting off. But more importantly I felt healthier and more vibrant than I had in years. As I approached the finish line I started to reflect on the journey. It had been challenging, eye-opening, and at times downright strange, but it had also been incredibly rewarding.